Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. So today is the day, the long awaited day. The bike is ready, it's sitting there behind me. It's MOT day. This time next week, hopefully I'll be in France riding this bike across France after it's weeks of being in this garage having many repairs done. The clutch, throttle bodies, seals, brakes, all sorts of stuff done. But today we've got to get it for the MOT. So I'm going to get the bike out, I'm going to get my kit on, we're going to head over for the MOT and fingers crossed it passes because if it doesn't I'm not sure what we're going to do. Let's get out on the road, see how the bike is and get it over there. Right okay folks we're on the road. I reset the mileometer about a mile after I left my house, so we're about six or seven miles in. The MOT station is just down the road. I've got to say, I don't think I've ever been so nervous for an MOT in my whole life. I've got butterflies going around. I mean, I've, ne I've never had a bike for an MOT, and I've taken some shanky bikes with an MOT and they've just scraped through. So the amount of work that we've done on this, it shouldn't fail. But I've still just can't shake those nerves off. But anyway, the bike, I've got to say, it feels fantastic. It does really feel, I can't believe the difference in it. It, it, it just feels so much smoother. Everything's nice, so I've got to get used to the uh, lower bike point on the, um, on the clutch. It's, uh, that's that's uh, catching me out a little bit at the minute. But it feels really smooth. Sounds smooth. Um, and yeah, it, it, it does ride a lot differently and that extra 20 mil on the suspension um, when you put your foot down, I think, uh, yeah, that, that you can tell the difference in the height on the suspension now I might, you could, I think I could adjust the height of the seat by clipping it in slightly lower, so I might just do that I'll see how I'll get on, it's not, it's not too tall, don't, no, don't get me wrong it's just a bit, it feels a bit different um, but yeah, what a difference, what a difference, and so nervous at the same time. I mean, I know it's going to pass, I know it's going to pass, um, but I just, you just can't help it, can you? you? I've got, there's so much rested on this now, you know, this time next week, I should be in France somewhere, riding, I mean, I don't know where I'll be now, hopefully, somewhere near Rouen I think because it's quarter to ten so you know I should be past Rouen this time next week fingers crossed if all goes well so the MOT has got to go well after the MOT I've got to go and get some miles on this and just make sure everything's as it should be and just pray that it is because if it isn't uh, my next week next week's going to be terrible <laughs> Guess what's just around the corner? Things are about to go terribly wrong. Keep watching to find out. <laughs> you know, I really haven't got the time to be fixing stuff on this next week. I need to be, I need to be packing the bike up. I need to be getting my toolkit ready, getting my spares ready, thinking about what I'm taking. I need to book my ferry. I still haven't done that. I haven't booked my first hotel. I've done nothing like that. My travel insurance, I need to get all that done tomorrow, today. Um, but anyway, let's get this bike MOT'd. And uh, then I can plan the next stage. Okay folks, I have a piece of paper in my hand here. What do you think? Pass or fail? Of course it passed! Yes! Get in! That's great. So relieved. However, I do have a bit of a problem. Now, during the week, I found the bike had an oil leak from a, a seal I'd already done. And what I'm gonna do is just insert the clip now. I've come in, looked at the bike, and you're never gonna guess what. 
and you see that down there that's oil and it's leaking from up here running down here it's coming out of here it's running down here it's dripping on there this is monday i've got the mot on saturday and i am really really disappointed um god not what i wanted so yeah that wasn't good um so what i had to do was strip the back of the bike down again fortunately it wasn't much of an issue what i did is i um it literally half an hour to strip it down i fitted the seal as soon as it came i left it the bike stripped down after the new seal was fitted i topped it back up with gearbox fluid nothing's come out it's been fine since so that was good quickly put it back together it was about two and a half hours in total in the evenings to get that done so that was all right however I've pulled up at the MOT station, started looking around the bike, and guess what? I've now found another oil leak from another seal I've already changed. Look. I don't know if it's showing up very well on there. But the front main oil seal is now leaking, quite badly. So, although we've got an MOT, we've got quite a severe oil leak. Um, so it's now Saturday. I can't even get the part till at least Tuesday. Um, but I think it's doable. To be honest with you, I'm not panicking at the minute. My only concern is that I fit it and it does the same again. So I'm a little bit worried about that because I don't know why it's leaked. I've looked online about needing a special tool and all these sort of things. I've not actually seen anybody that's successfully fitted one without any issues. There seems to be a lot of people fit them when they have issues with them. So the one at the back, I'm just going to say, I, I think the reason that's leaked is probably because I've not cleaned up the dirt enough off the original uh, gearbox shaft. So I think maybe that had done something. I don't know, but it's not leaking now. I put loads of grease on that when I slid it in and that seemed to do the job. The front though, ever quite easy to get to. It's not a major job to do it. I'm just concerned now if I fit it and it leaks again, what am I going to do? Anyway, we're going to cross that bridge later. But what I'm going to do is we're going to get the bike back and we're going to give you a walk round of everything that's been done on it. So we'll catch you in a bit. Okay, folks. So after the MOT yesterday, I thought I'd go and get a few miles on the bike. Just check everything's all right. We obviously we know about a bit of an oil leak down there. Um, I'd managed to do just over 100 miles on it yesterday, just pottering about, went a few places. And I've got to say, the ride's completely different. Having the clutch right, the new shocks, which have raised it up a bit, the throttle bodies being right, it just rides so much better. Um, obviously, still a need to address that oil leak. It is quite bad. Um, I don't know why I've struggled with the seals so much on this bike. Uh, it's not an issue I've had before, and it's a little bit embarrassing, to be honest, how many seals I've been through anyway we'll get that sorted out um so yeah let's go through front to back now all the bits that we've done on the bike and uh, i'll also include everything that i've done on this bike since i've had it in may um we'll cover every bit that's been changed or replaced and everything so let's get on with it first of all let's have a good look around the bike <laughs> Start at the very back, new top box, pannier rack, fuel tank, bears container. We've had a new rear disc, tyre, brake pads, rear brake cylinder, rear shock, seals front and back in the gearbox, rebuilt the throttle body, extended the stand for the new shock, fuel tank has been stripped, relined, new fuel pump, new filter and all new seals, new clutch and rear main seals, new headstock bearing, new fork seals, new front shock, new alternator, new alternator belt, new front main seal, new brake pads in the front both sides, repaired the brackets 
for the front fairing so it doesn't move about. Rebuilt this throttle body. Wider foot pegs, heated grips. Thanks very much, Chris. Phone holder, etc., and USB spotlights as well. Bracket for the Lomo bag. That lifts off. Drops on. And a little strap round here. He says. And we're fixed on. Now obviously oil filter, oil, all the other fluids, they've all been changed as well. So that's a fair bit done on this bike. Now, during the week I had a parcel come through from a man that some people are saying it's a Father Christmas for bikers. All I know is that his name is Chris. Now Chris kindly sent me the heated grips, if you remember. He's also now sent me this rather dashing tank bag. What a kind guy. And not only that, he sent me a pair of heated gloves. The man's a legend. Thank you very much, Chris. I can't thank you enough. The stuff you've sent has been amazing. Thank you, mate. Okay, guys, so that's a good walk around on the bike. I'm sure you've all seen it now. The name we're going with for the GS is going to be Old Yeller. Everybody chose it really. Um, we'll forget the fact that Old Yeller gets taken out the back and shot in the end. We won't mention that. You know, I'm not threatening the bike. That if it lets me down, that's what we might have to do. It's no sort of threat. But anyway, a big thank you to all of you. A big thanks to everybody who sent me stuff for the bike who's come and helped out, Joe especially, all the, all the buy me a coffees, all that sort of thing, all the super thanks, all the bits that have been sent through the post, big thank you to all of you. Now I've got to go off, change that front seal, get the bike packed up, do my travel insurance, book the ferry, all this sort of thing, I've still got a busy few days, but I'm not going to bore you with all that, the next you'll see will be on the road. So, that was very naive of me to think it was going to go as easy as that. No, this is Tuesday. I'm supposed to be setting off on Friday. So a week today, believe it or not, this bike is supposed to be in Africa. And look at it. We're in bits again. Joe's come again to get me out the uh, you-know-what. Yeah. So I better explain what's going on. Well, as you know, the oil seal was leaking on the front. Um, now I'm gonna put my hands up and say, I think I've fitted that wrong, or may have nicked it or something when I'm fitting it. We've, we've had a good look at it, and I think that I'm to blame for that. But the issue with the gearbox output shaft seal, I'm not to blame, but I don't think so. So I'm not gonna go on too much, but the, se the seal is not sealed in around the shaft. Now that's two seals I've had, that don't seal around the shaft. The said company have only got those ones, that's all they're gonna send again. So rather than buying another one of those seals that's gonna leak again, I've actually, well, Joe went and picked it up for me, but we've actually gone and bought another gearbox. So, this is the state of the bike. A week's time till it's supposed to be in Africa, <laughs> which just sounds absolutely ridiculous now but I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep trying until the fat lady can't sing anymore. I can hear her singing, but I'm ignoring it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna keep going. So there's a gearbox here. That's gotta go in. The new front oil seal was supposed to have been delivered today. The delivery driver said he didn't wanna deliver it, so it's gone back. So I've ordered another one for delivery tomorrow. The whole thing has just got a bit crazy. It's on the knife edge. It's a more than on a knife, knife <laughs> edge, but I'm not giving up on the bike yet. There is a backup plan for me to get there, um, but I'll explain that another time. I'm not going to show you all of this bike going back together again, but if you guys stay tuned for when the next parts come out, which hopefully will be in a little while, because hopefully I'll be going to Africa. Yeah. Um, Keep your eyes peeled and I'll explain all then. 
But until then, keep your fingers crossed, please. So, if you haven't already, go over and look on the Facebook page, Sidekick Solo, because I'll be doing updates on there. You'll see what's going on on there. So have a look on Facebook for Sidekick Solo. Give the page a like and get updated. Obviously, there's going to be a break in proceedings. There's going to be a couple of weeks, maybe even three weeks, where there'll be no videos. But please be patient. Stuff will be back soon. As soon as we get back, I'll be uploading videos. Stay safe, you lot. Take care. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you very soon when we'll be on the way to Sahara. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days.